friends in this session we are discussing little more about directory structure of red hat linux or centos linux not only red hat or centos most of the linux environments have the same directory structure majorly there may be some similar changes but usually most of the linux environments they have same directory structure so we have something called as mount point what do you mean by mount point mount point is just like the very first beginning of your file system so we use slash as mount point when it comes to your windows not exactly but i can say c drive is i can call it as mount point so c drive under that you have some other directories or you may have some other directories but you cannot go one step behind the c drive right anything whatever you start always it start from c drive so which starts from there not exactly c drive is not a mount point here uh, in case of windows but just for you to understand little more better this concept i am giving that example okay so everything which starts from the mount point so when we go to mount point cd is change directory so now i want to change my current present working directory to slash okay now i am in my slash directory so slash is absolute beginning of the file system anything your work your directories your files anything whatever you are doing which comes followed by slash which start from slash you may have directory you have one slash you have some directory again you have one slash you ha you have one more directory you have one more directory like that so but anything always which starts from slash in case of our linux when i hit ls these many directories are there in any red hat linux or centos linux environment operating system machines bin bin contains binary files whereas here i have one s yes bin it contains super binary files what is this binary and what is this super binary bin contains the commands bin contains the commands which can be executed by any user in my last session i explained you about which command which and ls when you type which and ls it will tell ls is a command which is also a command whenever i hit ls which whenever i did ls with which it will tell ls location this command is located here under slash bin directory that means to say ls is a command that can be used by any user it can be a root user it can be administrator it can be an ordinary user it can be guest account anybody anybody can use this command the commands which can be used by any users resides here whereas if i select f disk see f disk is a command which can be used only by super user or administrator that is why it resides here s yes, bin clear so bin and s bin is over normally any user executable commands are resides here in bin only super user executable commands resides here in s bin okay next we have slash etc under slash we have etc etc means it contains all configuration files it can be your ip address it can be user related configuration it can be password related configurations it can be ftp related configuration anything which is related to configurations dhcp dns time configuration and your software configuration application configuration everything all each and every configuration files always resides in slash etc then last and found last plus found let i'll show you about this etc 
let me go to ls etc see dot conf dot conf dot conf dot conf dot conf these are all the files which are related to some configurations which tells us it's a configuration file then there is something called as last and found let us see what is there here in last and found it is empty now it's empty S any accidentally deleted files during uninterrupted uh, system crash when your system is crashed or when it is uh, system is suddenly rebooted for maybe for power failure or hard drive failure or maybe for memory failure files may gets damage these kinds of files will reside in last plus found then we have mnt let us see what is there in mnt it's empty why it is empty because mnt is mount what and all the mounts which are done in our machine it will show there then we have prox what is that prox so all system related prox here you may have some numbers right so this number is not exactly but each number having its own process id the process id which is related to this process contains in prox so prox contains all processes related information next we have var var means variables we may have some variables like log files every each and every second each and every minute log files will be keeps on changing right so these kinds of variables resides in var next we have boot what is this boot what is there in boot let us go and try see this and all the files which are related to the boot there will be something called grub grand unified boot loader so grub is a boot loader which boots your linux machine so these are all the files which are related to boot up boot up the system so whenever you switch on your system as we know that bios will run once bios will run next post operation will run there is something called as sorry power uh, power on self test then it will run bios then it will automatically run boot loader so it will go to slash boot and it will search for the boot loader boot loader once the boot loader will run it will take care of entire operating system to be up then we have something called as home home is home users for all the users now there is one home user called admin user there is one there are three users i can say there are three users in this machine now one is admin user and another one is suresh and another one is vista so totally there are three users so they have their own home for directory if i log in as vista directly it will take me to slash home slash vista under slash for each and every user there will be a directory associated with that user name so if i log in as suresha let me log in as suresha okay cd it will take me to my home directory uh, let me create a file touch a b c d a b c d okay see my present working directory is slash home slash suresha let me log in as vista okay i forgot the password okay let me log in as root user let me log in as root user now let me go to my home directory now check home directory for root use slash root other than root there may be any number of n number of users for all users home directory will be slash home slash that user name okay 
next next we have media nothing is there in this media no it is just like all the external medias that you may have in your machine yeah see i have i have mounted two different medias through my windows so it is just like if you have one cd or anything it will show in media and next we have root that also we have discussed and we have sc linux sc linux is uh, red hat specific and sc linux is just like it's a firewall uh, it's a kind of firewall which uh, protects your computer from unauthorized packets then we have tmp which contains all temporary files then one more very important directory slash dev dev contains see all devices it contains all the devices it can be your terminals it can be your cd rom it can be blocks it can be bus it can be cpu it can be disk all devices information how many devices are there in your machine what under the devices which you have it will contain uh, all the files or resides in slash dev next we have slash lib lib contains all library files see all library this and all the system library files this and all the system li library files in background which makes your linux to run the way we use dll files in our windows similarly not exactly but dll files i can call it as library files here the same way we have some library files in linux that library files will reside in slash lib then we have we have some misc sorry we have some lis uh, you know miscellaneous any other softwares will reside here and opt once again very important one is opt downloaded files will reside here and since i have configured samba system, samba on my machine i have one directory called samba else if it is a new installation there will be no samba directory then we have something called as slash user what is there in slash user see what and all the things which are there in slash user any application any external application which we install that will reside in slash user like say for example let me install nagios nagios is one of the most widely used tool most widely used tool uh, to manage network resources or let me install any other uh, third party tools like this from internet or i uh, any other devices any other sources whenever we install any other devices like team viewer i can say team viewer whenever you download and install team viewer that may reside under slash user slash user user specific resources user specific resources it contains the files or the applications not files i can say applications applications which are installed by some other sources this is a small information about directory structure i hope this tutorial will make you easy to understand directory structure and how directories and files are organized and how what is the difference between slash root and slash home slash root is home directory for root user other than root user it is slash home you may have 10 different different users for all 10 different different users there are 10 different different directories will available in slash home thank you